Yeah, so we've come in here through the lift. That's one way of uh, coming to the power house. It's a drop of about uh, 70, 70 something, 75 meters from uh, the control building to here. Then uh, we can also drive in through this access tunnel. So where are we walking in? This one will take you out. Yeah, so you drive in when you are coming to the power house. Yeah, you can drive in, you can carry in heavy things. So when you reach here, this is a, we call it a power house cavern. Eh? This is like a building. You actually, they, they made a building in the lock. So this is where you have the three units installed. Uh, the dam is this side. So the water comes from this side, and then uh, the tailies is the, that side. Yes. Basically, what happens in the three sets of units that we have? Th this is where we actually generate the power or cook, so to say. Yeah? Uh -huh. The water we get in water coming in here, and we have power going out. So the generators. Yes, uh -huh. out of the generators. Uh -huh. Yes. How do you evacuate the power now from the generators that you have to the? From the generators, we have power power cables eh? uh -huh. uh, that uh, run along uh, the service shaft. That is the, the lift, all the way to the control building, where you've come from. Okay. Yes. This is the first, we call it unit number one, because the first one you come to. Then uh, after that you have unit two and unit three. Maybe we can uh, take a walk down the power house. This is, a, we call this one the, the exciter. For a machine to generate, it needs to be, it needs to be given a direct current. Eh? Yeah. Because uh, generating power, you require three things. You require motion, you require conductor, and you require magnetism. Okay. So the motion is brought about by the water power, rotating the turbine, which rotates the water. Then you have the conductor is, uh, the stator part of the generator. Now what you need now is magnetism. Uh -huh. That magnetism is provided by excitation current. Eh? So we have uh, some DC current supplied into the into the rotor through a brush gear system. Yes, because one part is rotating and you need to supply current. You can't have a, a rigid connection. So use brushes eh? so that as uh, the, the link is rotating, it is also getting a direct current to go to the lotter and provide the magnetism. And how long does, does everything happen inside the inside here? Uh, the, this machine is rotating at uh, 273 revolutions per minute in an anti-clockwise direction. It's rotating now anti-clockwise. Eh? Mm -hmm. As you'll see, that is determined by the way the water gets in into the runner. So, so the water comes in from the dam and then it is poured into this? Uh, not, not up here. Uh -huh. uh, this is where you have this is the generator housing. Eh? Uh -huh. I will take you the the turbine. It is a it's at a lower level. Uh -huh. I will take you there okay. after here. Uh -huh. This we call it the generator. We are starting on the generator housing. Uh -huh. It's down here. We have the generator, uh -huh. and we, we have a house allowed it to control the temperatures inside. As the electricity is being generated, it heats up, and you need to cool it. So we have uh, air being circulated, and we have radiators like those of a car hmm? passing cold water. So that you keep the, the temperature inside there uh, low. Okay. Mm? Yes. So it's, whatever comes in from here is coming from down from the generators. Uh, here we only take in DC current to go to the rotor. Okay. And uh, now from uh, from the center we have power going out. Maybe I'll show you where it goes out. Uh -huh. Yes. Here, here we are taking in DC current to go to the rotor to provide the magnetism. Inside the generator. Okay. Yes. Okay. Maybe maybe we can go down first. Okay. Then we come up. Because we have maintenance going on, uh -huh. you have a chance of uh, seeing inside the generator. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now you are inside the generator house. This is the stator part of the generator. And if you can uh, come here, you can take the shot of the power coming out. Maybe what happens here? This is where the power is uh, being generated. Eh? Uh, we are not able to...
This is this is the generator. Eh? This is a power coming out of a, coming out of the machine. Eh? Maybe 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 not coming out coming out of the machine coming out of the machine to go to the excitation transformer. Uh, we'll go out to the other side. I'll show you the the main power cables. Yes, but these are the radiators. I'm talking of that the cool the area. Eh? So this is the, the, the stator, the cables are inside, the, the stator is inside here. This, there is an opening here. So as it lands, it forces the air out. Eh? It circulates air and the air goes out because the house is, is crossed. So this one passes uh, cold water. So as the water, cold water passes, the, it cools that air. It actually keeps the air cool here. This is the water coming in from the dam. Then we will see where, where it goes to the machine. No, here we only have a aspheric valve. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. so that if, when the machine is uh, not running, we can uh, we can close it. Uh -huh. Like uh, you'll be able to see, you'll be able to see there's a difference. You see this arm here. Uh -huh. This arm shows it is open. It's, it's open. If you go to the the extreme one, you'll see its arm will be at a different uh, uh -huh. angle. Uh -huh. Yes, because it is uh, closed. To show that the valve, the valve inside, there's a ball valve inside here. It's actually a ball valve or a spherical valve. That now, now here it's open, so the water is running through. If you are carrying out maintenance, you close it so that you are able to stop the water from coming in. So that runner is uh, turned by the, is turned by the water. You see the water, is, the pipe is coming in here and it goes around. This pipe goes around. It's using inside so that water gets in from all the sides and it rotates the machine. At clockwise, yes. So this machine now is running. It is rotating at 273 revolutions per minute, and the generator is up here. So the turbine is down here, yeah. connected through the shaft to the rotor of the generator. So as it lands, it is running the rotor of the generator. The rotor of the generator is supplied with the DC current provided by magnetism, and the stator generates the power now. Okay. Yes. So this side now we have water rotating that is turned into current. current. Yeah, the water rotates, uh, we like seeing it as uh, you have the water power yeah. providing rotary power and then the rotary power in the generator now generates electricity. Okay. When you are here, you can see all the parameters for this machine, how it is performing. Uh, you can monitor the, the bearing temperatures, you can monitor the water temperatures, the oil temperatures, everything you can monitor here. And uh, you can also, if something was to happen, when you are not here and you need to, to come and go back in time you can come here and do trading and you go back in time you see how things were what was happening so it's a, the plc is a very important tool for maintenance for operation and also for maintenance these are those are indicators of how the machine is performing temperatures uh, over different you know we, we need to to monitor using different kinds of uh, probes these ones are different from the ones that you are able to read here Yes. Okay. So from here you can tell the different levels that are there. Even the dam level you can tell uh, where you are. Yes. You can, this actually is the unit control board. You can either operate it automatically using this panel. You can operate it manually using this, uh, this panel and this one. You can use these two to operate uh, manually. You actually turn the knobs. Eh? When you say manually you are turning the knobs. And the things are happening. Those are the cables uh, of the generated power eh? coming out of the generator to go to the substation. Eh? That power is at 11 kV. Worth noting is that this machine is under maintenance. It has been isolated so that uh, everything is safe. I hope you've had fun learning how water is turned into electricity. It has been quite a journey. Till next time, we do this all over again next Friday, same place, same time. God bless you for always staying tuned. And as always, the conversation doesn't end here. Talk to us on our Facebook page at MBCI TV or on our Twitter page at MBCI TV. God bless you.